Hi, I'm Emily Niku, Executive Vice President of Blonder Tongue Labs. Traditionally, the signals are distributed over a series of private core networks that are managed by the operator. These networks connect the national head end to the regional head ends and ultimately the hybrid fiber coax to the end customer. In the home, the all familiar digital set top box provides digital TV to HD televisions and the cable modem or gateway provides data to PCs. Now this basic video system results in a broadcast linear architecture where the channels are always on, all the time, to all customers. How has the basic system evolved to incorporate the many features that are available with IPTV? What are we able to do now and what will we be able to do in the future? Expanding on the traditional system, today's system may include unmanaged content that is delivered over the top from third parties directly to the customer without the operator's involvement or high quality managed content may be provided via a content delivery network or CDN. MPEG-2 and 4 or H.264 are two different compression schemes. Both schemes are considered lossy compression types because some bits are removed in the process. Both standards have several different profiles and levels. Profiles define the capabilities and levels specify decoder performance for a profile. For example, a level will specify the maximum picture resolution, frame rate, and bit rate that a decoder may be capable of using. In the traditional digital video system, MPEG-2 was used for video transport. But today, an ever-increasing number of channels are in MPEG-4, which is also known as H.264, or Advanced Video Coding, or AVC. This provides an improvement in bandwidth, as well as compression, for mobile, handheld, wireless, 3D, and other applications. To accommodate the increase in services, some operators have chosen an all-digital offering and removed the analog tier that still existed in their traditional lineup, and or they may utilize switched digital video, or SDV, where the video is sent only where it's needed via routing and switching infrastructure, as opposed to always on all the time. Adaptive bit rates are used to optimize video for multi-screen delivery. The traditional regional head ends have been consolidating to a national head end that runs IP streams to regional access networks, providing more centralized control and management. The home network is changing to accommodate a growing number of devices. They may be interconnected via a home wireless network or via MOCA 